Sims. <laughs> So like when the light goes through 
you can like it kind of like changes like tones as well that's kind of cool this is really cool i mean i i can't really tap on it because well yeah i don't really want to you know get it dirty <laughs> just really really nice and you can see if I put it more on the light it becomes more see through you can see my hand through it that is really nice probably one of the coolest um, records I own so yeah apparently only 500 of this green special edition one pretty cool pretty cool
like the mean of it has been spread out quite a lot recently but the true mean of an introvert basically means introverted thoughts feelings and ideas and theories that's what introvert actually means i just realized this may come across as me as mansplaining it's not <laughs> She's a very, she's a very confident person. Um, but I guess it's in actuality nature. She's trying to, you know, find that. I feel like I repeated myself. I'm not very good at explaining music theory. <laughs> She 
she's allowed to express that and be happy with it. And then she talks about with the company she's made and how much bigger she grows. Is she able to have her personal self anymore? Is she able to keep that away and hide it? her music and the way she just, you know, talks about these ideas and thoughts and feelings. She makes you think and feel what she's saying as well, like you really do feel engaged with her lyricism. Like she is a very clever artist, very clever. Stone, like a really, really dirty beat at the start of the 
the song and then it goes into more of this more ambient track where the music sort of, I don't know, basically isn't ambient and the lyrics kind of just, I don't know, uh, take control over the, uh, the sound. I guess that kind of reflects in the duality ideology. Um, but that's just me stretching and not really have any other further thoughts on it. <laughs> Protect my energy is like this 80s influence beat. Oh, it's so good. Um, Point and Kill is a reggae inspired beat. Like, this album doesn't particularly have a consistent sound, but I don't mind that. I kind of prefer when albums don't have a consistent sound. It, like, so every beat is like different, unique, and I, I, I like that. I really do like that. Um, the Fear No Man kind of, kind of takes it back to this orchestral grandness, and um, the last two tracks, um, How Did You Get Here and Misunderstood, are more reflection points. They are the final reflections that Miss um, Sims has. Um, um, you know, as you would expect with any album, you, you know, the last tracks are typically reflections. And they kind of slow it back down, ground the track from it. It's like reggae, 80s, upbeat um, tracks, and yeah, brings it, tones it back down again. So they're not particularly my favourite tracks, but they're, they're important to the album as a whole. Um, but yeah, like I said, um, like I said at the beginning, um, I do think this album would together holds this grandness, like a theatre-esque, like all the interludes for like something out of a theatre play you would watch. Yeah, they are interested in that aspect. Um, and Little Sims described how this album and, um, and Grey Area are in parallel to each other. Grey Area is like the pre-drinks uh, to this album, so this album acts out acts as that night out. You have the singing, the dancing, which you would see in a theatre play as well, where it kind of has that same sort of um, connection, if you want to make that as well, which I think is quite interesting. Um, but yeah, I d altogether I think this is a really, really well produced, written album. Sims deserves more recognition of uh, songs um, as all of Venom did blow up massively. If like if you're on TikTok you've definitely you've definitely heard Venom at some point and Woman, you might have heard a woman. I think that was a really big one as well. But I still think she does deserves more recognition than she does. She I th I, li I looked on Spotify before I made this video and she's got like three point six million monthly listeners, which is like really great, but I wanted to be in the tens, you know, I wanted to have like, like tens of millions of listeners a month, because she does deserve it, you know, you've got artists like Kendrick saying how she's like, one of the best of what she's doing right now, and just others as well, like, It's really, really great. I'm really doing dry. So yeah, I think that would do it for this review and discussion. Um, thank you guys for watching. Apologies about my fan, my laptop fan. I don't know why it's doing that. It's, I don't know, it's not even hot. 
So apologies. <laughs>